Hi, welcome to my channel and in this video I will demonstrate how to make the world cycle through day and night in Unreal Engine 5. So here's a quick example of what you can get from this tutorial. So if I make the time go fast, as you can see the sky changes as well as the lights in the scene. There are three elements to manage to implement such effect, which includes rotation of the direction light, intensity of other lights, and lastly, emission materials. So, rotation of direction light changes the sky, and what I mean by other lights, for example, these point lights, which function as street lights, should be disabled during daytime and lastly the emission materials which apply to the street light should be darkened as well when you create a new project with one of the templates you'll find directional light in outliner so let me select that and if we open level blueprint we can drag this guy in And then we can drag out from this guy and add a component called add local rotation. And then let me add an event, a tick event, and connect this to this component. And what we want to change in this case. Let me select directional light is rotation Y. So we need to change this value only. So what I can do is split construct pin and change this value by connecting something into this. So we can drag out from this delta second from event tick and I'm going to multiply with a new variable so let me create a variable here and I'm going to call it speed or you can call it whatever you want the type should be float so let me drag the speed into the level blueprint and I can get speed and connect this to this multiply component. And now we can connect this to delta rotation y. And let me compile this blueprint to set the default value of the variable we just added. And let me set the sp default speed to something like 20. It will make the rotation really fast. But to see how this affects the scene, let's go with 20. And as you can see, this is working. So the sky department's done. So let me move on and add a couple of extra lights in the scene. So I'm going to create a point light and place it in front of those boxes right there and duplicate and do something similar okay and I'm going to give this boxes another material so let me create another material and let me call it M underscore lights and apply it to those boxes and also I'm going to create material parameter collection to change the intensity with the level blueprint so it usually goes with mpc in short and i call it mpc underscore intensity and if we open the new mpc you can see there are Scala parameters and vector parameters, but what we need in this case would be Scala parameters. So let me add 
a new scala perimeter and we can set the default value there and also you can rename it to whatever you want i'm just gonna call it intensity and we can save that and now i'm going to open up the material editor and you can drag it drag this parameter coll collection into the material editor so you can get it right away or otherwise you can type in parameter collection we just collection so you can get the same one and you can select it manually anyways you can select which parameter you will get so let me select intensity which we just added and i can connect it to emissive color and let me save that the default value of this parameter is zero so it is not going to do anything at the moment so let me go back to level blueprint and this time we are dealing with multiple objects so we can't just simply drag in and change whatever value we want to change so in this case what i'm going to use is a component called get all actors of class in this case we are dealing with point lights so let me type in point lights and we need for each loop and connect out actors to array and from this array element we can finally set intensity of those point lights so this these are the components that we're going to use to change the intensity depending on the rotation of the direction light so now we have to add a condition for this to happen so we can connect the tree and falls to those two group of components and what we need is the rotation of this guy so we can get ro get rotation get actor rotation actually and again we only need rotation y so as i did before let me split this guy and the condition will be greater than about minus 10 the value between 0 and minus 20 was okay for me but it might be different in your condition so anyways let me just connect this to the condition and also we should connect these guys as well so when it's true it means it's dark so we should turn on the light so let's set the new intensity to somewhere about 20 so here's our test as you can see the light is now off even though it was on in the editor and when it's got dark when it gets dark it's on again and when the sun rises it's now disabled okay so the last thing we need to do is to change the material parameter in level blueprint so we can simply set parameter i mean not exactly sure what it's called was it sascala parameter yeah here we go sascala parameter value and we can copy and paste for 
for the false condition and the collection would be the one we created and the value when it's dark it should be above zero and also we need to ch choose what parameter we want to change so let's test this out So it turns on when it's dark. And it should turn off when it's bright. Great. So what we did in this tutorial is we changed the rotation of the directional light which affects the sky and we extracted the rotation of that light to use it as a condition to make the lights and the materials to change and yeah overall it's it's quite simple way to implement a day and night cycle and you can probably use it for a massive city scene which i am working on at the moment so yeah thank you for watching and if this video was helpful Please leave a comment, like this video, or even subscribe for more contests like this. So, cheers!